What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the live opening of some packs. This is going to be a good time. Let me just check the settings, make sure everything looks good here. Can everybody hear me all right? How's everybody doing? What's up, Dopus crew? All right, let's see if we can share a screen here. Here we go. And we are ready to begin opening some packs. I always love, these are some of my favorite live streams when we come in and we open some packs. Um, let's actually open up here and upland like the different things you can get and the different like uh, rarities that these items are. So this is going to be pretty fun. Okay, let's see here. What up? Jorge Barros. Did I say that right, my friend? Um, okay, so I bought a ton of these packs. I don't even know how many. I I really want some of these passes, these platinum passes. I've seen people those like they're like one of 50. You can get them for different matches. You can get them for like quarterfinals, semifinals, or even the finals. So hopefully we can get some of those. And then you can trade these passes or you can like redeem them at games for like really good items. So greetings. What up, Simon Carsguard? What up, NFT Architect? Welcome out, my friends. Yes, we want some platinum passes for sure. I would like to get everything from like these really old items you can get to get uh, some collections as well. So we will start opening and kind of dig into it. So it's going to be a good time. Um, yeah, there's so much. I, and these spotlights, I think these spotlights are going to be huge. All right, let's do it. First pack, here we go. What's the favorite thing you guys have got? Those of you who've opened packs, I don't really know what's rare. So we're going to have to be... Okay, a lot of these older ones. That's actually cool. Platinum should be valuable. I sold two VIP passes for 140k epics. I love it. All right, here's some essentials. I bought quite a few essentials. Packs. Just get that fan score up. Mexico, Argentina. Wait, those ones only have two items? <clears throat> I thought those have three. I want to look at that really quick. Some jerseys. All right. I haven't seen any passes yet. We really want the passes. So you can still buy these essentials packs. Includes three essentials. Yeah. So one of them just didn't load for some reason. Spend your bank on essentials. You think so? Yeah, I think that's kind of the best bang for your buck when it comes to fan score. I'm pretty sure. That's how it was for the NFLPA by a long shot. If you want more fan score, you just buy a lot of those. What the heck? Oh, yeah. How much? How many items are in the pro one? Holy crap, that was crazy. Um, I forgot. Pro, four essentials, one legit. I swear it just gave me more than that. Essentials. All right, let's just quickly like see if we can. All 
Are they all under football legits? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, okay. Let's just look through like 1958 World Cup. That's pretty cool. Some old school stuff. 1978 Italy. It's cool they did like throwback stuff. I think that's pretty sweet. Dude, these mascots. 1970 Mexico mascot. That's sick. You just want to see me spend a grand on FIFA stuff. Yoshi's is going well. We're actually going to finish that giveaway. Like it's going to be fully built in the next week. And I have like two more days of gathering entries for that. I actually did it earlier today. I gathered more entries for that. So that is going pretty good. We're going to that building will be done in a week. Excited for that. X1 said there was a problem with the delivery of the packs. Not all items were coming through, but said they will all come through eventually. Cool. No worries there. Oh, you put one spark on the Yoshi building? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have you on the list. You got lots of entries. Look at that. Look how many items came through on that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, the pro, I think a ton. Ooh, is that like a is that like a game ball? I don't know how that works. I may have just got a pretty good one. We're going to go look at that. Let's go to assets, football legits. 1930s World Cup ball. Oh, mint 2155. Okay, so that rarity is not quite like the game ball situation. Plenty of fan points, though, on a lot of these. So it looks like my best is like 60 points for Germany so far. 2014 Germany shirt. All right. Okay, these are the ones you can get. I bought a lot of these because these are the ones you can get a pass in. I want some of those dang passes. Come on. I swear that's giving me more than it said it would give us. So I'm stoked about that. Another ball. Okay. I would love to give a quick shout out to the Mahoney metaverse hodlings, the sponsor of this video. And I will also give a link to their discord. Be sure to join their discord. Check this out. I put the link right there in chat. You can actually win some epics. You don't have to do anything or pay for anything. You just join their discord. And if you invite some friends, you can get more entries. And then all it is, is like guessing what the score of some games will be. And then you can earn, uh, like you can win up to four points per match and there's 64 matches. So just for predicting the score, you get one entry. If you get like, if you predict the score is two to one and the match ends zero to one, you get two entries because you got one of the scores, right? So check out Mahoney Metaverse Hodlings, join their discord right there. And then you can uh, be able to start earning some entries. You can win up to a hundred thousand epics. Uh, for the grand prize, there's going to be eight winners. Second prize, 50,000. Third prize, 25,000. Fourth through eight, get 5,000. So be sure to check them out. Really cool sponsor. I really appreciate them helping my channel, being willing to sponsor a video. So go check them out as well. 
because uh, it's really cool they decided to sponsor. All right, why do I not have another uh, box to open yet? Have they not all been delivered yet? Don't tell me they're already out. That would suck. Maybe I need a refresh. It looked like a rare game ball from the 50s. Yeah, let's look at that. I love these little mascots. Honestly, these are some of my favorites. How cool is that? South Africa, 2010, 34 of 3000. The mascots are cool. 1950 World Cup ball. Yeah, those aren't super valuable, it looks like. Exclusive 1934 poster. 26 of 400. That's pretty cool. How about the crests? Are these more valuable? Are there less mints of these? Only 200 of these. Okay, that's pretty cool. Netherlands Group A. I think I'm one of these. 100 of these. Okay, so pretty much how many fan points it is, usually how rare it is. Got a bundle, how to maximize. Uh, Carlos, a store on the river, has a lot of cheap items. Yeah, I'll also be selling some of these at my store in Santa Clara right here. So you can come here. You can list yours for sale if you want to sell some of these. Feel free to come list them for sale. Um, so there you go. All right. Okay, what? Maybe we need a refresh? I'm not sure. Maybe they haven't all been delivered yet and just some of them came through. Oh, here we go. All right. Just had a refresh. Some balls are really rare. I have a rare ball from the 50s, one of 25. Okay, dang. Come on, I want to pass. That's cool. Is it giving us like multiple packs worth of items in one? I think it I think that's what it's doing. Look how many items we're getting out of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was crazy. We got that poster. So it's sorted by fan score, right? Like lowest to highest. So your highest stuff is going to be at the bottom. Well, I guess these are all the essentials. I don't have anything better than an essential yet. I guess it's all essentials, right? No, no, or passes, I guess. The throwback stuff was a really cool idea. These mascots, I'm actually like, those things are freaking sick. Those are probably some of my favorites. All right, come on, give us a pass. Give us a pass. Put P's in chat. Everybody type P so we can get a pass. Get the algorithm going. Come on. All right, do I have to refresh again? I don't know why. Okay, it's all good. Well, we're happy to refresh if that's what it takes. I was gonna say, I bought way more packs than what I've opened. Ooh, that one was sick. Ooh, there's a ball that could be rare. I mean, some of these jerseys could be super rare too, right? Ton of jerseys. No passes yet. 
I didn't buy any of the pass bundles specifically, but you can you have a 40% chance to get them from these pro bundles. So I'm really surprised I don't have one yet because I bought a ton of these pro bundles. So the odds of me not having one yet is actually pretty crazy if it's really a 40% chance. Ooh, that one's sick. Had one of those. Okay, where's the passes at? So is this giving me, do you think this is just giving me like five boxes worth at once? Because that's a ton of items right there. The essentials are only supposed to come with three. I like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand how it's working. Okay, we got another 60. Brazil, ooh, mint four above that. So these are the ones that are 60 fan points. These are of uh, 100. There's only 100 of those. So this is like mint four of 100. That's pretty cool. So. What up, Miguel? I got the South Africa 2010 exclusive Spain jersey. Like it says South. A oh, I guess that's the guy's. I was confused. I'm like, guess that's the guy's name. Is that the last name of the player? So I'm like, Spain? Is it Spain or something? <laughs> that was funny. Let's look at the Germany. No, it is supposed to be. <laughs> oh, it was in South Africa. Okay, sorry, I was confused. It was in South Africa, but it was a Spain jersey. Use your brain. Yeah, the balls are pretty cool. 1954 ball. Uh, 1970 World Cup poster. Some of these are really cool looking. Like, I like the design on these. That's something you'd hang in your apartment for sure. That's sick. I can't wait till we can actually display these on the inside of our, like, buildings and stuff. That'll be cool. Yeah, no passes yet. I don't know how it's possible I don't have a pass. Okay, top three teams. Okay. Ooh, there's a cool ball. N dang, that 1966 England poster was sick. I want to see that. Let's just search 1966. July 11th to 30th, 1966, England. It's pretty cool. These are of 400. So, can you can't fill collections yet, can you, on these? Or can you already start filling collections? 
I haven't checked. Oh, we got our first pass. Oh, we got another pass. And another pass. What? It's like they're all coming. Maybe there's just a way of how these are delivered. Do you know what I mean? That like just the opening process is kind of weird. Okay. You can already start filling collections. Heck yeah. All right. So we got three passes. Now we have a group B pass. This is just a general. Okay. So we could get England or USA or Wells or Iran. That's pretty sick. Oh, we got two group B generals. All right. And then a group D VIP pass. Heck yeah. Okay. So what is this for? Oh, this is for a better player. So I get someone on France or something. VIP level. All right. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Let's get some VIPs in chat. Let's get some VIPs. Anything is 60 the highest fan point item. Yeah, the Aussie. All right. Okay. We will look at in the collections as well. That's exciting. I love that Mexico seventies poster. That thing is so sick. All right. Starter bundle. Let's get some more passes right here. Come on. There it is. Give us another one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. España. Okay, we got another pass. Let's see what that one's for. A group C. Okay, we got a group C pass. General. Okay, we got Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Okay. There's 1,600 of those. Dang. I think the passes were a cool idea. I like that. So all the passes are burnable, right? So it makes me think if you save some of them, could those be worth good money if they were never used? Like if all the passes get burned and someone saves a few of them, they'll be like the only ones in existence, you know? So is anyone thinking about not using their passes? I just got two more passes in this box, I think. The passes are coming in hot. So we got a group A, B, C, three Bs, and only one VIP. All right, did we look at the A yet? Teams are on A. Oh, nice. Netherlands, Qatar, Ecuador, Ecuador. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's get another V. I want, I want one of these. Wait, where is it at? I want one of these premium ones though, you know, where's that at or platinum. We want a platinum pass. Come on. Can we get, can we get a platinum tonight? That's pretty cool. All 
right, I'd like to quickly remind everyone that uh, MMV Hodlings is the sponsor of today's video, and I'm going to put a link to their Discord where you can enter to win up to 100,000 Epics. It doesn't cost anything. You don't need to have any legits or anything to enter this award to be able to win some Epics. Um, all you have to do is join their Discord, invite other friends to join. You get entries just for inviting people to join their Discord, and then guessing the score of predicting what the score of matches will be in the World Cup. If you get it right, if you get any points right, you get an additional entry. So you can earn up to four entries per match, and there's 64 matches. So you have a ton of opportunity. I, I mean, if you just put 1-1 one, one on every score you're probably going to get a ton right. You know what I mean? You're going to get a ton of points. And just predict that on all 64 matches or something like that. So check that out, MMV Hodlings, and would like to thank them for sponsoring the video. All right, let's get some more passes. There we go. No premium yet. Oh, VIP. Dude, that was final 16. That one's money. That one is money right there. It's my best one yet. Look at this. Final 16 teams, VIP pass. There's only 400 of these. Saturday, December 3rd to Tuesday, December 6th. How cool is that? And I could get a VIP player. I love it. I love it. Okay, we have B, B, C, B. A, B, and C. Is there any more groups? Isn't there more than just A, B, and C groups? Isn't there... Yeah, there's D group. How am I getting just a bunch of A, B, and Cs? Oh, yeah, there's a D right here. That means we got more coming. That's what that means. All right, pro bundle. I'm feeling premium right here. I'm feeling premium. Do you believe? Only if you believe. That's right, you listening right now. If you believe I'll get a premium, I will get a premium right now. If you doubt... And I'm not going to get it, so it's your fault if I don't get it. Just so you know. Premium, premium, premium. We got a 16. That's good. Group H. Give us that premium. Group E. We're getting a ton of different letters. Oh, quarterfinals. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's close. To, that's like close to getting a platinum. Because, I mean, it's super valuable because it's quarterfinals, right? Look how many essentials are coming out of that. All right, let's go assets. Let's look at this pass. Football legits. So now we have C. We got an H. What teams are in H? China, Portugal. All right, Uruguay and Korea Republic. All right, very cool. All right, but check this out. Quarterfinals. It's not a VIP, though, but it's... A quarterfinals player. General. That's pretty cool. There's only a thousand of those. We'll take it. We will take it. So these, what these passes are, if you don't know, they can be redeemed to get more stuff. I'm still feeling a platinum to like get uh, different types of collectibles. Like the clips, I really want to try to get some of the game clips but i think you're gonna need a platinum to get one of those all right we can get it in here it's starter bundle let's go come on 
Come on. Ooh, that one's sick. A lot of cleats, boots, whatever you want to call them. All right, you know what we need to do to get the good juju going? We need to buy another essential pack. There is how many of these left? 37,000. Look at these ones starting to go off the shelf, these FIFA pros. And plenty of starters still. You can get passes from both of these. So this one you have a 20% chance of being a pass in a FIFA starter. And in a FIFA pro you have a 40% chance of having a pass. All right, here we go. Here's our 20% chance. Let's get it. I believe in the odds. I'll play those odds. Come on. Give it to us. We need another pro box. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Let me just take a little sip. Here we go. Mascots. Those masks. I'm group H pass. There we go. No premiums yet, but that's okay. What up, Heiberg? Okay, let's actually check. Um,. Okay, here's our passes. 275 is our highest value pass so far. You can buy, well, the Upix ones sold out except for the Essentials one. Daniel, so you can, why, he says, why can't I pay the bundles with Upix? Pay for the bundles with Upix? They, most of them already sold out. Um, look, we got a lot of 60s, though. Quite a few more. Look at that. Mint number four of 100, 2010 Spain shirt, jersey. Ooh, mint 100. I got the closer. Oh, it doesn't say closer. Come on. 100 of 100. That's pretty cool. 1934 Italy. They may have won that year, huh? Some of these balls are pretty pr pretty cool. Oh, there's a 2022 20, ball. That's very cool. 5,000 of those. I'm a big fan of these mascots, these old school mascots. Look at these cartoon guys. Argentina. All right. Oh, yeah, we're getting plenty of good stuff. Plenty of good stuff. So, yeah, Daniel, you can still buy some of these essentials if you want to get your fans corrupt. It's actually probably the biggest bang for your buck. I think if you're going for fan points, you want to try to get a lot of teams that you want um these essentials bundles are pretty good pretty dang good so you just go get Upix, you go to specials you can see items for Upix, and then there's items for usd here but you can still buy these guys right here the uh the pros sold out pretty dang fast. And then the starters, you could still buy them up until like a few hours ago. They were still, they hadn't sold out yet. So 
Those 15,000 sold out fairly recently, and now the ones for USD are starting to sell out pretty quick. Come on, that can't be everything. That cannot be everything. There we go. Here it is. What do you think the fan points end up giving us? Properties? Or do we need more challenges? What's your thoughts? What do you think the fan points end up giving us? Properties in Lucelle? Or do we need to make more challenges? Yeah, so I know that the fan points are going to contribute to what we can win. Um, so that's why I went pretty big. Because I'm hoping, because I think all the properties in Lucelle are going to be giveaways throughout during the World Cup. I think Upland did a killer job on like incorporating being able to get land for our investment in these. So that's pretty cool. And you know that that land is going to be super valuable. I think you can even win the stadium. Okay, that was a VIP final. That was sick. I think you can even win the stadium. They're, they're giving it away after the tournament is over. If I read that right. So. Let's look through here. Bundles. Passes. Mementos. Okay. Maybe they talked about that in the video. Up above, fan score leaderboard. We're gonna release a leaderboard, and that'll be cool. Uh, was there more info in the? Yeah, the stadium can be won. How sick is that? Fan score challenge. Okay, so they just dropped this. When properties, cars, and more, I did not know you could win cars. Imagine they do like uh wrapped cars in the in the country colors. How sick would that be driving around a Brazil car or something like that? Okay. You can win outdoor decor. Fan score challenge details, Friday, November 18th to Monday, November 24th, 21st. The weekly challenges test players with increasing the fan score week to week. Then the end of FIFA World Cup will have separate rewards for the top 100 players on the leaderboard. Top 100 players on the leaderboard are eligible for prizes, including Upic Spark properties in the World Cup Village and a very exclusive FIFA World Cup outdoor decor trophy. So you win Spark. Properties. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so get some fan points. Buy some of these packs. You're all looking forward to only because of Upland. Yeah, I'm I'm not traditionally like I don't know a lot of soccer players personally. Uh, I I am not a huge watcher of really any sport. I probably watch UFC more than any any other sport. So if they did some type of UFC collaboration, I'd be all over that. I'd be buying everything. If you could do mementos before a UFC fight. Whew. Okay, we got another pass. We're doing pretty good on passes. There we go. Another one. A ton of group A's though. The winner country... Their capital will be released into Upland. Yeah, how sick is that? Okay. I 
I mean, there's highly high likelihood that it could be Brazil. They've won the World Cup more than any other. Okay, look at the fan points on this, ladies and gentlemen. Qatar 2022 final, the final game, VIP pass, 1750 on that sucker. Woo! Only 50 of these. And I got one. That's right. I got one. This is going to be sick. A VIP player in the final match. Woo! All right, I'm stoked about that one. A little too excited. A kick to the face knockout memento. Seriously, Heiberg, that would be sick. You got an 8,400 point? Oh, you have 8,400 total points? Is that your total fan score right now? So they haven't released the leaderboard yet. Or is it at the bottom of this? Seven point three million Upics, fifteen spark going to the top one hundred players is the biggest prize pool ever in Upland. Woo! Oh, Series One FIFA trim, dude, for a car. They're giving away so much. Oh my gosh! Okay, we got more packs to open. 13.5k for fan points. Nice. I don't know how many I have. Where are you guys checking your fan score? How, how 1994 USA one was sick. All right. FIFA World Cup. My legits. Under feet, oh, under collections. Twenty one thousand, baby. All right, let's see if we can start filling this any of this in. I like to start at the bottom for this. Look, we got two rares. What if we can already fill some of these in? Wait, is this one of those ones where you don't want to fill it in yet because you're going to get more points? I don't think you want to finish it all the way, right? Because if you finish it now, when they're doing the weekly giveaways, you can earn more if you wait to finish it then or something like that. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm not going to finish it, but it looks like we'll be good on that one. Twenty-one of these? All right, we should be good on most of these, I think. But I remember with the football challenge, you got more points... Um, if you did this, cause the, like it said, there will be weekly challenges and stuff. So even like waiting to open them, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I remember some people were regretting f filling their collections before the challenge started in the with the NFLPA one how many are we at 
20. Okay. Whew, almost went too far on that one. Okay, so we're going to be able to finish those. Top 10. Okay, we need more of these for sure. We need more of these puppies. All right, let's keep opening. Yeah, I hope they don't do it like that either. I hope they count all the points that we've got prior to when the event starts. Because I... Because then it's like, well, maybe I shouldn't be opening any of these yet, you know? But I think if you trade them, then you get the point. So, like, if you do direct trades with people. So, maybe I'll do, like, a trading event with people if that's how... If we can do stuff like that to help each other out. Um, another group A pass. All right, give us a platinum pass. I want the platinum. One item in there? What the heck? That might mean I got all the pro stuff. Look, a ton of A's. A, B, and C. Then an H. Two H's. A VIP group D. Round... Oh, I got a VIP 16 and a VIP final. I love it. Yeah, maybe that'll work, boy. Darn good, good idea. We already know the next city, Copenhagen. Is that right? Think you think they're gonna win, huh? Let's buy another. Let's buy another essential. Thirty six thousand of these. That's how you get your fan score going. Now, do you only get certain rarity with these? Cause I think you can get all the rarities from this, right? There's so much going on. You can get all the same rarity from each pack, right? Like, Where's the one where it's like a Google spreadsheet? I saw that. Breakdown of each bundle's probabilities. Okay, starter. Okay, but they don't have the essentials one in here. But look, you could get final, final, final. Oh, in the starter, you only have a point. So I guess the pros and the these ones gave you much higher odds to get quarterfinal, semifinal. What about platinum? Oh, dang. So it's going to be like near impossible for me to get like a final platinum pass. Even any platinum, it's like a 1%. So if you wanted the Platinums, you would have to buy a lot of these FIFA Pass ones, which they sold out pretty dang quick. Obviously, you'll still be able to get Platinum stuff, but the Passes are kind of fun. They're kind of cool. All right. Let's get back to it. Yeah, James, it's true. They're always like they're always doing back to back releases. They do like a city drop and then they do stuff like this or vice versa. It's a it's a good conspiracy theory for sure. Yeah, no passes from essentials, but it's a really good for getting three essentials. And I think you can get up to 60 points still from one of these, a 60 fan point item for only 2,000. 
compared to 5,000 or 10,000, I think it's actually like the odds of what you get for how many fan points you get, I think is a better bang for your buck. If Because I remember that's how I did a whole breakdown video of the NFL PA ones, and that's how it was for that, but I don't know. But it's nice to get the cool stuff for sure. Man, those pros are the only place I'm going to get that platinum. You got a ton of the 2K. All right, here's another starter. We could still get a platinum of like a general of an early game, right? What's possible from a starter? Yeah, you can still get platinum. You can even get a quarterfinals. It's a point oh one chance, but it still can be done. Ooh, we might be getting close to the end. Oh yeah, they'll do, they'll obviously they're, well, I think they're going to sell all of previous years in 2022 by the end of the world cup. I think they're but so I don't think you're going to be able to get more world cup items till, uh, four years from now when the world cup happens again is my assumption. So that's what makes these things pretty dang valuable if the rarity's high. Okay. Here we go. We have another pro bundle. So let's get a platinum quarterfinals. 0.07% chance. I'm feeling it. Give it to us. Uh, three more drops. What do you mean three more drops? Because, well, they had a multi-year agreement, they said, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they'll release, honestly. Okay, give us a freaking pass. Platinum pass. What? I had nothing in it. Here we go. This is where the pass is at. Well, pl I, I mean, plenty of people will sell these stuff on the secondary market for reasonable prices, I think. Let's see, can I, if I wanted to? Can I, can my shop sell? Oh, it can only sell NFLPA. So, wait, list NFLPA legits. So you have to have a separate shop for so I guess my legit shop is only NFL pieces, huh? Alrighty then. You got your platinum pass from a pro box? That's crazy. I want one. Come on, give me one in a starter. I want those really slim odds. Give it. Why am I getting like one item? I guess to be fair, it was giving me like 10 items per box previously. Here it is. No platinum passes yet. That's right. Our fan score is going up.
There will be three more rounds of bundles on the store on several days. Oh, okay, okay. So they're going to do more rounds of these exact bundles. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, I want a platinum from a starter just because the odds are so hard to get it. Yeah, where did it, what, which article mentioned that? Uh, was it in the guide? Purchasing legit bundles. Was it in? No, I don't think it was in fan score. Oh, maybe they'll do them during throughout, like these when they have these challenges going on. Maybe they'll do some here, starting on starting tomorrow. Maybe who knows? Um, or did they do it in this one? This is where it should have said it. Okay, let's see. Bundles, dates. Bundles will be replenished on... Okay, that's it. That's why I didn't see it. So you can buy again on 11.23, 11.30, and then 12.7. So mark your calendars if you didn't get some of these and you still want a chance to buy some of these bundles. Do you think we can use our fan points for anything when the World Cup is done? Well, I think they're going to remain just fan points for the world, for like these. Like, I think they're going to be used in games. So you're going to be able to use these items in games. Um, there's already some... Because Upland has said they plan to do they plan to do games like that, make them make them usable, the fan points usable. In there it is. Did you see that? Got our first platinum pass. Yeah, it is hard to value them in order to sell them. Quarterfinals. That was some good boxes back to back. Uh. Group D VIP, Group D Platinum Pass, but this is uh, France, Australia, Denmark, nice, 60 of those. We got our first Platinum Pass, ladies and gentlemen. Stoked on that. Another pass. We'll take it. Yeah, there's just so much information that came out with this drop that it's hard to keep track of like all the details of it, you know. All right, let's get another let's get another essential pack. Like I'm curious if the if 50,000 of these are going to sell out actually. I think these are for sure going to sell out, which is good to see. Like, I think it was $25,000 worth of the pass ones sold out, and then this one's going to be 50000 and this is like $75,000 worth of starters. 
So technically you can still buy pro and starter packs for USD. Here we go. Another pro bundle. All right, let's see if we've got any item that's over those 60 fan points that's not a pass yet. Or if that maybe that's the max, I don't know. For any central. Lots of 60s now. Man, I'm doing good on Italy, that's for sure. Bunch of Italy jerseys. Okay. Now let's refresh, see what we get. I don't know how many I got. I think close to like a million epics worth though. Yeah, I think it's good new I think it's good that there's so, so much going on in Upland that it's hard to keep up with all of it because it means the game's progressing. Dude, that Korea one was sick. And again, I think it's really important for everyone to know that like you don't have to be involved in everything. If if you're just in Upland for like buying properties, like being a property mogul, buying and selling properties, like that's great. You don't have to, if you don't care about soccer or FIFA, like you don't have to buy these. I think it's good to invest in things that you know. Um, so if you feel like you know real estate really well, invest in the real estate. If you think you know NFL football really well, you know, you watch it, invest in that. If you watch soccer, if you watch the FIFA World Cup, you know which players are good. I think it's smart to invest just like you would in the real world with things that interest you because then you know what it's worth and what it, if it if if something excites you then you know that that's going to be exciting to other people so that's that's why i would look at it what really got me is like all the giveaways they're doing with this event and it's the world cup it happens only every four years like it's a pretty it's it's the number one like watched sporting event in the world i think i think i think the uh what was it the tour de france had more viewers technically but i think this fifa world cup is predicted to be the highest viewed like sporting event in history if i read that right but who knows the internet says a lot of things about a lot of things doesn't it Yeah, soccer is not as big here in the States compared to like all these other countries. That Brazil ball is sick. Semifinals. There we go. That was some good stuff. I shouldn't be in bed. It's 2.30 a.m. Holy crap. Had to see some live pack openings though. I should be I, I should be almost done, my friend. Thanks for sticking it out with us though. I, th I think I might actually be pretty much done. Let's refresh. Sometimes it doesn't want to load. Yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to trade a mascot for a mascot if I have a duplicate. I'm always willing to trade duplicates, especially if you have something I need. We could find a good trade. Happy to do it. And there's a trading event starting. When, when does that start? I can't keep up with it. Uh, the trading event starts. Doesn't it start tomorrow? It starts Friday tomorrow. Wait. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. I can't even keep track of the days anymore. 
tomorrow at 9, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, we can start trading to build our fan score. I'm waiting to fill my collections because last time with the, when they did this fan score challenge right after they dropped the NFLPA collections, if you had already filled all your collections, you got less like growth during that event. Like, I hope I shouldn't have waited to open these till tomorrow because that'll suck too. Come on, give us a pass. Yeah, if they if the fan points that you already have don't count towards your fan points. But if you would have waited to open them, that's going to be interesting to see. Group D pass. That's a Brazil. I wonder how accurate these posters are for past World Cups. Good question. What if they're the exact ones, like from the FIFA archive or something like that? Because I know they work directly with FIFA on this. So, Group H pass. I have like a ton of A, B, and C, and then H with like nothing in between. Group G, there we go. I think that's my first G. Another essential bundle. All right, thanks for sending the offer, Will. I will look into that, my friend. And please, if, if you guys do want to do trades with me, um, please try to make them fair. Try to do things that are the same amount of fan points. Uh, I like to do trades equal fan points for equal fan points at least. Ooh, I think that's my first one of those mascots. That's pretty cool. All right, more packs to open. Come on, a platinum from a starter. That's all I want, just because the odds are so hard to get it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the mascots definitely seem accurate. I don't know how they would just come up with those random characters and posters yeah some of the 80s 80s posters and stuff are sick as I'm opening multiple 80s stuff in that one give us a pass platinum pass from a starter pack Those posters will be cool, like, honestly, like, to display inside of our houses when we can do that. Think of a FIFA museum in Upland. That would be cool. I definitely hope Upland does a lot of, like, burning type stuff with like they did with NFLPA, you could burn some stuff to make higher value stuff. I think when you do that, it just increases the value of everything. Because when there's like, 
I mean, that's why things like NBA Top Shot, I think, got devalued a lot because there's like millions and millions of collector's items. Like, there's too many. Like, 40,000 of a single, like, three point shot that Steph Curry made. Like, why does there need to be 30,000 collector's items of one moment? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's too many, it's too saturated. So Upland has kept, I mean, things below like 4,000, I think. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the highest one that we've seen is, but I mean, with how popular the World Cup is and there only being like 3,000 of an item, that is still relatively suit like valuable and then we're talking some things are only like 50 or one of one that's that's pretty good let's see what our uh let's see what our fan score is looking like i don't think it's updating Twenty-two thousand, or maybe it already knows everything i'm getting from the boxes i don't know Yeah, it's not available yet. You can't burn, because I, I would love to burn almost all of my essential NFL PAs to get those uh, replicas, because replicas are clearly going to be more valuable. I may be out of packs here. Let's buy another essential just to see. I don't know how fast they're delivering these right now, but. Sounds great, Boydarn. Thank you, my friend. Get some sleep. All right, I do want to check out collections, my collections here. What one did I start with these? Looks like I started with FIFA World Cups. There's 30 collections here. I only have two rares. Rare essentials, own five essentials must be rare. How many of these are there? There's only 50 of these, but the fan score is kind of low. That's kind of interesting. So I've got two rares, uh, exclusives. I've got enough to finish that. Plenty of those. Okay. I don't want to finish them yet because I, I really think it might be like the NFL PA ones where you don't want to fill your fan points yet for the challenge starting tomorrow. Okay. Top 10. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're barely going to have enough for that. And hopefully that's not the same one this one needs, finalists. Now that one has two. That one's Austria, third place shirt. Top 10, Brazil first place, baby. So we'll be able to finish both of those collections. Then let's look at logos. All right, 15 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14. All right, we'll be able to finish that one, no problem. Man, these rare ones, I'm going to need to make some trades. Going to need to make some trades for some rares. 
making you nervous. I really hope they don't make that progress stuff. Yeah, I really hope that, like, you don't benefit from waiting to open these boxes for the challenge that starts tomorrow. Because, I mean, look at what's at stake. Um, properties, cars, and more. If they're good. It's time to dominate. Starting Friday, 18th, 9 a.m. Players can... Players with the highest net gain in fan score will crack the fan score leaderboard. Gosh dang it. See, I think if you would have waited to open them till 9 a.m. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Prizes include FIFA World Cup outdoor decor world cup village properties two fifa world cup themed mv motors cars holy crap i want that i want that yeah that's kind of annoying when they do that well i guess i'll buy more uh packs tonight that I can open of just the essentials, huh? One. Look at all that FIFA trim. 15 winners. You get spark. I mean, the, the, what you can win here is pretty awesome. Uh, bracket. I want a property in the World Cup Village too, big time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But that's why I'm not finishing these collections because as soon as you fill it, you gain the fan points. And... You want to fill it during the challenge. One, two, three. All right, one more. Let's be able to finish that one as well. Let's check if we'll be able to finish all these. Evolution. 12 of these. Two, three, four, five. Now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we'll be able to finish that one. This one is own 12 essentials that are World Cup balls from different years. It's cool. Mascots. Own 10 essentials that are mascots from different years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That definitely was a thing in the NFLPA one. When the collections dropped. That definitely was a thing. I wonder if... Because I noticed when I was opening packs, okay, my fan score didn't really change, even though I opened a bunch more after. So I wonder if, like, you've already been given the fan score... You guys follow what I'm saying there? I wonder if you've already been given the fan score for the packs you've bought. So I might wait to buy them till... I might wait to even buy them till 9 a.m. tomorrow. It might not even be opening them because they may, like, give you the stuff. Like, I think once it's delivered, you've maybe already received that fan score. Does that make sense? It's just a theory. 
but I'm thinking that might be how it is. All right, 2018 World Cup. How many of these? Six? Ooh, I need two more 2018s. Okay. See, this is where you just buy a ton of those essential packs to fill these ones. Three... Four. Missing two there. Okay, these ones are harder, huh? 2010. I need six of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, it looks like... Five. You can't have repeating. Own six essentials from 2010 World Cup collection. Must include one each. First place shirt, second place shirt, third place shirt, fourth place shirt, World Cup ball, World Cup logo. Interesting. So I need a ball. I need a 2010 ball. Fourth place, second place, and a first place. Okay, so you got to be smart about your trading. Yeah, remember your score and buy more. Yeah, good question. 22,466. But I think it's once it's delivered. So if they deliver this in the middle of the night. Like I don't think it's going to be there immediately. But if it gets delivered to my wallet. Hey, look. Instantly. Did that just go up? Oh, is it increasing when I fill those collections? But I didn't finish. I didn't finish a collection. So no, it's not going up from that because you have to finish the collection to have it boost all of those numbers until it's finished. Not nothing in the collection is active. So none of the boost is active on any of them. 22, 578. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't, Think, I don't think that's going to make it go up. I own nothing from 2002. Crazy. 98. One, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah. So you have to have all the different things. First place shirt, second place shirt, third place shirt, fourth place shirt, ball, logo. Dang it. Lots of trading going to be happening. This will be fun to trade with people. Boom, boom. Who do I have all of them here? Oh, what am I missing? Just the first place shirt from 94. Good night. Hey, I want to remind everyone that, uh, MMV Hodlings is the sponsor of this video. I just put a link to their Discord in the chat. Uh, if you click that, you can earn up to 100,000 Upix by participating in their challenge here. It's totally free. All you do is join their Discord, invite people to join, invite people to the uh, UFL, Upland Football League, and um, 
if you go in their Discord and you try to predict the score of matches that are going on, uh, you can earn more entries. You can earn up to four entries for each of the 64 matches. I mean, just go and randomly guess scores. I mean, a common score is like two to one when it comes to soccer. So you could just put two to one on everything and see if that, see if that works. Or one to one. So you're getting entries on like every team score. Right? So uh, check that out and you can win up to 100,000 epics. Second place prize 50, third place 25, fourth and fifth 50,000 epics each. So go there, earn some entries, and good luck with that. Uh, and big shout out to MMV Hodlings for sponsoring the video. All right, let's uh, let's keep going with this. See if we can actually finish any of these, or at least be able to finish the higher value ones. So that's cool. But all these little ones will add up for sure. Man. Ooh, we're super close on that one. Got five of the six. Third place, fourth place, second place. Just missing the first place shirt on that one. I wish you could do autofill on these, honestly. If you could. That would be nice. What happened to that? Like stopped loading my stuff. Five of six on that one as well. None of these have I been able to finish down here. Two of those. 1970. Ooh, it looks like I have a lot of these. Boom, boom. Boom. Ooh. Super close on that one as well. All right, later, James. Oh, McSqueeb. He is just, uh, hasn't been, he hasn't been playing the game much lately. So that is why he has not been around. We got the first place for this one. Second place. We got the logo. We got the ball. Need third and fourth place for that one. That should be easy. It's crazy. All of these World Cups. One off on that one as well. Definitely life can be busy. Okay. We're almost done. I don't think we're going to get this. So we'll have to be buying more of these essential packs for sure to finish all these. Ooh, we're super close here. Five of six. All I need is an Italy first place essential that's not being used. It's amazing how I never have an extra and I always have like the thing I need, but it's being used in like my different collection. Okay. First two. Own any two essentials. Okay, we'll finish that one, no problem. Okay, cool. So we're going to be able to finish all of these rare and exclusive and I think all of these will finish as well. So but again, I'm waiting to fill these 
till tomorrow when the challenge starts. So 9 a.m. Pacific time. Start filling your collections. Okay, and then there's a whole other section of these ones. I don't have any of those. These ones, oh, 2022 exclusives you can already get, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we'll finish that one, no problem. Warm necks. What's this one? Own eight Mentos replicas that are different. Okay, we'll get those with our passes that we have. From my understanding, time capsule. A lot of these just aren't out yet, I think. Fire. Yeah, there's no fire yet from this tournament. Spotlights. So these are all stuff you're going to be able to get throughout the tournament. Ball hog. Authentic. Okay. Guest. On three passes from different rounds. Yes, sir. Final, semi-final. Okay, so we'll finish that one, and that'll give us a ton of points. That's crazy, though, because once you burn that, once you burn those passes, they can no longer be in the collections. So there's a reason to keep a few passes. That's interesting. 22 of these. 11 legits that are boots, 11 legits that are shirts. This one's no problem. There's all my shirts. Now we're doing boots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so don't fill the last one there, but we'll finish that one as well. Nice and easy. Yeah, that would suck to use it and not get anything good for it. One, two, three. Okay, what do we need here? World Cup poster, ball, mascot. Ball, logo, poster. Oh, logo. I need a logo. Don't have a logo, I guess. Okay, group H crests. Oh yeah, I think I got these on lock. Okay, so missing one crest from H. I'm actually interested to see this. This is, I like this one. This one's, so I can see if I have every team's crest. Okay, so we'll have the, all of those crests. So we got G, one, two and then i could see my duplicates so that's where i could go like okay i could trade a canada for croatia three of those group e like i got a bunch of costa rica Got an extra Spain I could trade for the one I'm missing. I'm always missing one and then I have duplicates of like everything else. Isn't that crazy how that works? Happen to anybody else? Okay, I'll finish that one. Group D, nice. Group C, one, two. Missing two in group C. Group B, one, two, 
three. Got that one. Nice. Group A. One, two, three. And got group A as well. Nice. Then pick any two. Obviously, we'll finish that. No problem. Put the platinum pass in there and something else. 22,578. Okay, here's the question. That is my fan score. All of that that I just did didn't cause my fan score to go up because you actually have to complete the collection uh, for your fan scores to go up. But if I just go buy... All right, let me make sure I remember the number. 22,578, right? If I just go like this and I buy a FIFA Essential Pack, 22,578, watch this. Hasn't been delivered yet. 22,676, it goes up. So I think the idea is to not buy these things It's kind of annoying, but for this event where you can gain players with the highest net gain in fan score. Crack the leaderboard. So ideally, if you haven't bought any of these and you wait till tomorrow at 9 a.m., that's who you're going to get on this leaderboard. And don't fill your collections until then because that's how you're going to... Uh, all the additional points you're going to get from finishing collections, that's a ton of points if you're like me and you bought a lot of these. Yeah, everyone's score is zero starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's everything you gain... Whatever your score is, <clears throat> whatever your gain is after 9 a.m. That's right. That is right. Because people were pissed off because I killed it in the... Uh... Honestly, it just took too long to fill collections. So when the NFLPA one came... Oh, look, it's already delivering these. When the NFLPA coll collections came out and they did the same challenge, I just, I was busy that weekend and I hadn't filled my collections until when the challenge started and I just killed it in that one. And then the nice thing is like, here you go. I went and won like a really cool block explorer, I think for that. What one did I get for that one? Bought a ton of these Halloween ones. Holy crap. And then I got this gridiron grill. What's crazy is I was the winner for multiple teams. But if you notice, for if, if you could have won more than one team, they just limited the mint number of them. So I actually was the top 10 player for multiple teams, and they but they ended up giving me only one block explorer for that one. Which kind of sucked. I was hoping to get more block explorers. So yeah, that is my strategy take on that. Um, wait till tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And I would even give it a little time just to make sure. Probably wait till... I mean, you don't have to do it till tomorrow night. But definitely don't start adding... Uh, fan points. I wonder if my fan points just went up though. After opening those. Let's check that. Nope. 676. So. It already allocates the fan points you're going to get the second you buy the box. That's really interesting. So I'm going to stop buying them. So. 
Yeah, I think it was the top 10 in like eight teams maybe. I'm not sure if it was 10 plus, but I think it was close to 10. My Tampa Bay. My Tampa Bay is my uh, my big boy for sure. Let's look at this. Hundred and seventy one thousand fan score for Tampa Bay. Whew. Whew. Not sure what that's worth, but I guess it's bragging rights. I haven't seen this stadium finish yet, actually. That's nice. Okay. I think that does us for today. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a really fun stream. I want to remind everyone one last time, if you're still here, be sure to join this Discord. Um, MVM, MVM Hodlings dot com is the sponsor of this video today they're running a really cool event where all you have to do is join their discord the link i just sent in the video and you can earn up to a hundred thousand epics for just joining their discord and guessing the score of what games will be in the 64 games that will be played in the world cup you just go and guess just for guessing you get an entry even if you so if you predict a game will be two to one and the match ends zero zero, you earn you still earn one entry for making just making a prediction. You get an entry. So go and at least get those 64 points before the first game starts. Go and do it fill out all your predictions. And uh good luck. And if, check this out. Five extra points for correctly predicting the score of the final game. And you went up to 100,000, second prize, 50,000, third prize, 25,000, fourth through eight, get 5,000 epics. So enjoy that. Uh, and again, thank you to MVM Hodlings for sponsoring this video. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.